Welcome to Endless Learning Training Series The Membrane-Based Desalination Technology. In this video we will study about reverse osmosis stage versus pass. The term stage and pass are often wrongly confused as the same thing. It is important to understand the difference between a 1 and 2 stage RO and 1 and 2 pass RO. What is single and double stage RO system? Difference between a 1 and 2 stage RO system. What is single pass RO system? What is double pass RO system? Why we need a double pass RO over single pass RO system? What is partial pass RO system? What is the advantage of stage and pass in RO system? In a single stage RO system, the feed water enters the system as one stream and exits the system as either concentrate or permeate water. In a two stage system, the concentrate or reject from the first stage becomes the feed water to the second stage. The permeate water collected from the first stage is combined with the permeate water from the second stage. Additional stages increase the overall recovery of the system. Difference between a 1 and 2 stage RO system In a 1 stage RO system, the feed water enters the RO system as one stream and exits the RO as either concentrate or permeate water. In a two-stage system the concentrate, or reject, from the first stage then becomes the feed water to the second stage. The permeate water is collected from the first stage is combined with permeate water from the second stage. Multi-stage stages increase the recovery from the system. What is a single pass RO? A single pass RO is a standalone reverse osmosis plant. In the case of a one pass RO with fresh water supply, the water passes through a first stage in which approximately 40% flows through the RO membranes and is purified into a so-called permeate. The remaining 60%, called rejection, is fed to the second stage, where in turn about half is purified into permeate. A single-pass reverse osmosis unit can remove more than 99% of the ions from the composition. What is a double-pass RO? Two-pass reverse osmosis systems consist of two reverse osmosis systems, first pass and second pass, with the first pass having a higher volumetric flow capacity than the second pass. Two-pass system, where the permeate of the first pass becomes the feed to the second pass. In most cases, one pass is enough to meet the drinking water requirements, which set the boron content at 1 mg per liter. But to meet the boron requirement of 0.5 mg per liter, a second pass is often necessary. In the first pass, seawater is desalinated by RO. In the second pass, the product quality of the first pass is usually refined in order to reduce treated boron level or water hardening. Large scale SWRO projects are usually designed as double or second pass. A two-pass system with two-stage RO system configuration where the permeate of the first pass becomes the feed to the second pass. In partial two-pass RO system where the second RO pass processes only a portion, typically 50 to 75 percent, of the permeate generated by the first pass and the remainder of the low salinity permeate produced by the front 
feed SWRO elements of the first pass is collected and blended with the permeate of the second RO pass without additional desalination. Advantage of stage and pass in RO system, RO stage used when increases recovery ratio required, RO pass used when high permeate water quality needed. Thank you for watching this video.